Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much for coming to this session. I want to introduce, introduce the first speaker, Jacob Hall, who will be uh, presenting on um, building a local group website using Dogwood. Please welcome him. Hey everybody, thanks so much for being here. It's been a really fun weekend so far, and I'm really excited to spend a couple minutes talking to you about how we're using the uh, Dogwood theme for our local OpenStreetMap community, and hopefully how you might want to do the same. Uh oh, I'm gonna try to switch slides here. There it goes. Um, cool, so last year at the State of the Map US in Richmond, uh, Quincy is actually here right now. I feel like I've been uh, surrounded by all of my celebrities this weekend as a like OSM enthusiast. Um, but Quincy announced that there is gonna be this new website for the uh, OpenStreetMap US community. And um, seeing it just on the stage, on the screen, I was super excited about it. And then sure enough, when I went to go visit it, it was like everything I would look for in a community website, like really impressed by it. It's got you know this really nice banner on the front, but then also, you can see these uh, like different themed links to all the big projects that OpenStreetMap US works on, and there's a lot of really cool metadata that you can sort of drill down into about the contributors to these projects and all sorts of different things. So I don't know about you, but I immediately thought to myself, like, wow, that would be really cool to use for my own projects, or like, it would be really nice if we could get this kind of quality of website for other communities. So. Uh, Quincy sort of answered that question without even me asking it and uh, released uh, Dogwood. So uh, basically Dogwood is the code or at least most of the code behind that website that's now available for everyone to use on GitHub. And um, it's designed exactly for what we need it for, for these community sites. And um, I got really excited about this. I think this is like exactly what we wanted to use. And um, I'm also really excited about the idea that as people contribute to Dogwood, they're also contributing to make all of the other community sites uh, work better as well. All right, so I wanna tell you a little bit about our community because that's why we started getting into Dogwood. Uh, so I'm a part of MapRVA. It's kind of exciting for us because we um, created MapRVA just after the state of the map last year in Richmond. So. We all started looking at each other. I bet there's a lot of folks here in Salt Lake who feel similarly, where it's like, wow, a lot of us who just came to this conference, like, we all live in the same place and we're all really into OpenStreetMap. And uh, it was really fun to meet some other folks who like are into the same things as I am and like to do all of this mapping together. So since uh, last August, I wanna say, we've been meeting pretty much every couple of weeks and talking about mapping sidewalks, uh, all sorts of different projects that we have in the city. And we've got tons of other ideas that we want to get started with. And um, so the Slack has been a nice way for us to organize our community a little bit. But there's um, the sort of need for us to document things online and hopefully bring in other members of our community who maybe don't know how to log into Slack or aren't so into the OpenStreetMap community specifically. And this type of website is like so perfect for that. So yeah. We have a sort of workflow that Quincy started on GitHub, but we've sort of um, built upon. So basically we have our repository where we then uh, upload like changes, we push changes via commits to our repository, and then they're published via GitHub uh, actions and GitHub pages. I'm not sure, like maybe some of you are very familiar with this process, maybe some not so much. But it's pretty straightforward, and um, I'm really hopeful that myself and maybe others who use Dogwood can help others in the community get started with this process. And we can sort of make it a less technical sort of barrier for other people looking to get started. So finally, I'd just like to thank everyone who's worked on this project. Um, my friends in MapRVA who've helped sort of make this project possible both by creating content for us to put on our website, but then also helping me get started with the Dogwood theme. And I'd really like to thank Quincy and the OpenStreetMap US staff for making this possible in the first place. So I'd be happy to take any questions at the end of the session, and uh, thank you all so much.